It is uh, January. It's freezing outside, and everyone has the blahs. That includes uh, my monologue writers. <laughs> no, it's okay. It's okay. They're human, just like the rest of us. It may seem hard to believe, but they write hundreds of jokes every day just to get the 10 or 12 we use in the monologue. And let's face it, a lot of those jokes, you know, they're not great. And honestly, sometimes I think they just throw in some real stinkers to fill up the page and meet the assignment. <laughs> but just because it's January and the sun goes down at 5 p.m. doesn't mean we can tolerate laziness, which means it's time for a surprise inspection. It's a very long intro. <laughs> so here's how this works. These are real jokes, really submitted by my writers that are unusable for the show. Some are dumb, some are patently offensive, and some just don't make sense. And most importantly, the writers don't know we're doing this. And because a lot of them don't watch the show, they'll never know we're doing this. <laughs> so let's get to it. The European bank Santander took back more than $170 million that they had accidentally deposited into customers' bank accounts on Christmas Day due to a, quote, scheduling issue, and it's incidents like this that make kids stop believing in Santander. <laughs> that was written by Ian. And it somehow went back in time and ruined Christmas for me. A Florida couple last month discovered a colony of 80,000 bees hidden behind their shower wall. Said the wife, honey? <laughs> that was also written by Ian. Which I think qualifies him as a serial killer. According to a new study, playing a recording of people's names while sleeping can improve name recall the next day. Worked for me, said Lou Bega. <laughs> so that one requires you to remember the 1999 song. Mambo number five. And even then, not a great joke. I'd say that would have gone maybe 2% better in 1999. <laughs> uh, it was a, that was a little, bit of, a little bit of Monica, right? A little bit, yeah. That was okay. You were allowed to have, in 1999, you were allowed to have several girlfriends. <laughs> as long as only a little bit of them were in your life. <laughs> so like Erica would say like, are you seeing someone named Monica? And you'd be like, a little bit. It was a different time, you guys. More than 800 parakeets were recently surrendered to a Michigan animal shelter. It's been a rough month for excessive tweeters. <laughs> a little bit of Marjorie. <laughs> a court, 1999. Most popular show, Friends. Unlike today, where I think it's still Friends. According to the latest numbers, the U.S. is averaging more than 386,000 new cases of the coronavirus each day. So call me Ellen DeGeneres, because this studio audience is all going home with something. <laughs> are, you, are you just clapping because you don't know what else to do? <laughs> is that how much you like free things, even if it's, you're fi even if it's a virus? You're like, oh! Rapper Cardi B tweeted yesterday that she wanted to get her son's name tattooed on her face. Fortunately, her son's name is Cheek. Uh, Karen Chi wrote that joke. Karen is a, just an adorable, adorable person. There she is. And yet, if you saw her now, do remember to flip her off. Let's win it. You know what? I'm going to win you guys back with an uplifting one. Because that cheek joke was, let's be honest. We need to do a little work to win you guys back. Today was actor Mel Gibson's 66th birthday. Unfortunately, when he blew out the candles, there were still some Jews. <laughs> it's 
so sad. He had a bad birthday. <laughs> we can't do that. You could never do that on TV. Can you imagine what would happen if I said that joke on television? <laughs> People were at home watching TV. Thank God we caught it in this surprise inspection. <laughs> According to a new survey, 17% of Americans said that they would like to receive sexual favors as a gift for Valentine's Day. Said the surveyor, okay, but I just did the last house, so I'm gonna need like 20 minutes to get going again. <laughs> Former First Lady Michelle Obama turned 58 today. And by the way, this wasn't, these all aren't all written today. I'm trying to stop what just happened. <laughs> Not her birthday today. I would hate for you to uh, clap for that after you clapped about the free virus. <laughs> Let's take it back. Let's get this set up, because this one's this one's real nice. Uh, let's see who wrote it. Let's go before it. Uh, so this is uh, Scollins wrote this. Uh, if you watch our show and you know anything about Scollins, you know he's a bad guy. <laughs> Former First Lady Michelle Obama turned 58 today, and if you're wondering what her secret is, Barack was born in Kenya. Scream premiered this weekend at the box office, and if you want to know who dies, the unvaccinated audience. <laughs> this whole thing was surprise. <laughs> this has been Surprise Inspection.